In this tutorial, we'll show you how we made the resynthesis vocal packs for Harma, so you can do the same with your own vocals. If you haven't seen Harma sing yet, here's a quick demonstration with Viola. Angels and moonbeams bring out the best in me. Angels and moonbeams bring out the best in me. Cool. Let's start with the original vocal, as sung by Viola, and reveal the process of making the preset. Angels and moonbeams bring out the best in me, like... Yes, we asked the poor girl to sing hundreds of phrases, monotone, on a C note. Now, it's not 100% important your vocals start this way, but we did it to maximise the quality and flexibility of the end result. Of course, you can resynthesize a normally sung vocal, but then any note you play will be an offset to the original pitch, and that can make playing the vocal in key a lot more complicated later on. So let's pitch flatten our vocal in new tone. Angels and moonbeams. I'll use Alt plus A to select the entire phrase, and then click C5 on the preview keyboard to the left. This will repitch the selected audio to that note. The next steps are optional. We'll fully correct the global pitch center, minimize the pitch variation, and turn transition time to minimum. All this is to create a pitch perfect vocal ready for resynthesis. Angels and moonbeams. If you don't do this, your vocal will have a more natural quality, but may lead to some pitch inaccuracies when used as an instrument. It's up to you. The next step is super important. You need to know exactly how many bars long the vocal is. In this case, we're setting it to four bars. You will need to know the precise bar length to set Harma to play the vocal in perfect time with your project. We'll be using a tempo synced LFO envelope to control the image time offset. While we're here in Newtone, let's tidy up some timing issues and get everything perfectly on beat. Angels and moonbeams. Angels and moonbeams bring out the best in me. Angels and moonbeams. Angels and moonbeams bring out the best in me, like. Again, this is all optional, as is removing breath noises, for example. Angels and moonbeams bring out. Now we're ready for Harmor. First, choose the template Resynthesis preset. This prepares Harmor to resynthesize your vocal. Drag and drop it onto the image section. And now we can play it. Angels and moonbeams. Angels and moonbeams. In this mode, it's more like a sampler with the vocal re triggering on each note. So let's set it to play tempo synced end to end. First, deselect the velocity to volume so the vocal plays at the same level regardless of note velocity. Image fine play speed is set to zero, as is coarse play speed already. We're doing this as we'll be linking the image time or play position to an LFO envelope. Set the image time offset smoothing to zero, as it improves position responsiveness. Next, set the time or playback position to 0.5. That's in the middle of the play range. We do this because the LFO envelope is bipolar. That means it ranges from minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. Minus 0.5 will be the start, zero the middle, and plus 0.5 the end. We'll set the image transient sharpening to minus 100 to help preserve transients. And now we're ready to set that image time envelope. Select the envelope tab, and then from the target menu, image time offset. This controls the play position. If we modulate that with an LFO, we can use it to sweep the play position across the sound. As I mentioned earlier, you will see the envelope is bipolar, that is above and below the zero line. First, let's set it to tempo sync. This way it will follow the project tempo, and global so all notes share the same envelope. Otherwise each note will re-trigger the LFO and that will put chords out of sync. 
Now we're going to set the LFO to the same length as our vocal. Remember, we had four bars, but you'll just need to match this to your sample length, and precisely. Notice I have the snap setting on in the envelope. That's going to make setting things a little easier. To set the LFO length, I'll drag this point across four bars. Each heavy division on the grid is one bar. You'll probably need to drag, zoom a little, and drag again to get enough width. Use the speed control to set one cycle over the sample length. Bring out the best. And then skew all the way to the right to make a ramp. And moonbeams bring out. Play position now proceeds at a steady pace. But we need to set the phase so it's at minus 0.5 at the start and plus 0.5 at the end. Do this by clicking anywhere on the LFO waveform and dragging horizontally. And that's it. One Vila Vocals resynthesized preset. Angels and moonbeams bring out the best. As it's tempo synced, we can change the project tempo and everything stays and on time. Moonbeams bring out the best in me like angels and moonbeams bring out the best in me like angels and moonbeams. And from here, you can start to have some fun with Harmer's other synthesis controls. If you like what you hear, I've put a link in the video description to Vila Vocals and Lollavox Vocals Resynthesized. With that, we hope you enjoy creating your own resynthesized vocal patches with Harmer. This is the last night on Earth. How can we say? on earth